Getting a good amp head that sounds great can be really expensive. But does it have to be? Maybe you can take a couple of those expensive amp heads and leave them in the wash too long like your favorite sweater. I am absolutely furious. I've shrunk my jumper. Now that they're shrunk, they only cost about $250. That's less than a tenth of the cost of the full-size amps, but are they only a tenth as good? Well, today we're gonna find out and pit the Bogner Ecstasy Mini versus the Saldano Mini, and welcome to Music with Marky. Today is a super fun one. I've got each of these ready to go, plugged into my Marshall 2x12 cabinet over here, and I'm gonna drop a mic over the center of the cone and record them back to back. Now, I could have used my Harky 4x12s here instead of that Marshall cabinet, but that's part of a whole other video discussion for another day. Anyway, I wanna give you a little overview of each of them with some sound as I tweak them, and then we will go measure for measure side by side in a mix. Before I do that though, you might be wondering if a 30 watt mini is going to be loud enough for anything but your bedroom. All right, Mark. Yeah, these things are freaking loud. Honestly, when you play a gig, you mic the cab and go to the PA at the house, so volume doesn't matter so much. All the volume you ever really need is to be heard over a live drum kit if you're in a practice room or you've got a gig for some reason with no PA. All right, so you can see here we have the basic controls, um, the master, presence, treble, middle, bass, and gain as a crunch channel and an overdrive channel. I'm not quite sure what this normal and deep is. We're gonna have a look at that in a moment. I've got it dialed in for a clean sound right now. I'm just going to play a little bit of uh, arpeggiated chords. If I put this deep on, let's see what it does. Okay, yeah, it just adds a little bit more like low mid response it feels like, maybe some bass too as the word deeper would make you think. I'm going to bring the gain up a little bit, leaving it on crunch. i got to bring the master down because it's going to raise the volume quite a bit. You can see it gets real gainy real fast. I'll dial it back a little bit. And then we're gonna switch it to overdrive with that same just low level three gain. Yeah, it gets real gainy real fast. And then we just crank that gain up there. Bring the master down a bit. Put it on deep for that. I'm interested to see if the microphone picks up uh, the kind of depth that I can hear in the room here. It's definitely pushing the speaker more. And then, you know, these controls are pretty much the same as they are on any amp. Dial it back and you get into the muddy zone. So it's definitely got that, that very 80s kind of sound that you expect from a Saldano. It does what it's supposed to do. It's really good with that high hair metal kind of gain and really good for lead sounds. Let's switch over to the Bogner now. All right, now with the Bogner, we have a few more controls. The wording for the knobs, or the labels, are kind of underneath and hard to read. You're not going to be looking at that stuff from an angle looking up, so that's a little bit annoying. But it's in the same order, presence, treble, middle and bass, and then you have the gain over here. You have this variac thing which uh, simulates changing the amps going into the uh, head, which changes the sound a bit. You can add more gain, and you can boost the mid-frequency, and I'm not even sure what this pre-EQ is. We're gonna mess around with this stuff. I'll start with clean sound again. Yeah, this stuff, the, the Bogner to me sounds a little bit more like a classic kind of amp. It's a little bit a little bit thicker sounding, if I could use that adjective. Feel a little bit of the gain there. I'm not gonna hear the variac too much on a clean sound. It's just boosting a different piece of the of the mids there. It's very subtle. Oh, that's nice. 
Maybe a little bushy on the mic. Let's bring a little bit of gain. Let's do the gain plus. Yeah, this definitely does that mid-gain type of thing better. Let's just play around with these a bit. No, I'm not hearing much of a difference there. Put the variac on, you're gonna notice it now. Yeah, it takes the distortion, or takes the volume back a little bit, so you can crank it more and get a warmer tone. Alright, let's bring this thing gain up now. Let's pull that off. We're gonna have to bring the volume down a bit so I'm not blasting out. mushy compared to the Saldano for gain, at least set up like that. Okay, now you've heard them a bit on their own. It's time to do the battle and hear them side by side, mano y mano, measure for measure in a mix. So which one did you like better? Where is your $250 going? For me, I like them both quite a bit, but if I had to choose one, well, it would depend on the tone and use. If I'm doing like a classic rock gig or need more clean tones, I'm gonna go with the Bogner. And if I want something that's more for hair metal or modern metal and I need more gain, I'm definitely going with the Saldano. I've put links to the Sweetwater sales page for each of these in the description below. And as always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And until next time, guys, keep making great music. Hey friends, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. It makes the whole world better.